Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. My name is Patience Lukele. The word of encouragement today will come from the book of Psalms 51 verse 10. The title of my message today, it says, Growing in God. Before we can read the word of God, let us just bow our heads and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the honor. Thank you for this opportunity that you are giving us right now to come and hear you speak through your word. Mighty God, I pray for your wisdom. I pray for your courage as I'm going to share your word with your children, not with my own understanding and not with my own uh, ability, Lord Almighty. Father, I pray that you may bless your word. Also, you may protect your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Family, the book of Psalms 51 verse 10, it reads as follows. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. This is a very well-known scripture that we use when we ask for forgiveness from our sins from God. Here we find uh, King David asking God to create in him a pure heart, also to renew a steadfast spirit within him. You might be asking yourself, why growing in God? The reason I've said growing in God, it's because even though we are saved, as the children of God, we have to focus continually on growing in God and let God to renew our hearts. There are a lot of things that are happening around us. Sometimes it even does happen that as the children of God, we allow negative thoughts due to circumstances that we, en that we encounter at a particular time to distract us in growing in God and to loving God. But I would like, what I would like to encourage you today is that it is very important for us as the children of God to return to our love for Him. When we return to our love for God, God will be able to strengthen us with His love and with His upright spirit. The other thing is the children of God, for us to grow in Him, we need to love God. We need to trust God. When you read the book of Jeremiah, it is one of the books that inspires me. Jeremiah 17, verse 7 and 8, it says, But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. Verse 8, it says, They are like trees planted along a river bank with roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by the long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. So as the children of God, when we return to our love for him, we will be like the planted trees along a river bank. God will be the river bank of our life and we will not be bothered by any situations that we encounter along the road, along our journey with God. The other thing that we need to remember as the children of God, if we want to grow in Him, is that we are not of this world even though we are in this world. It is very important for us to know that we are not of this world. The last thing that we need to remember as the children of God is that we belong to Him. Only to God we belong. So let me hope this word of encouragement today will uplift your spirit, will encourage you. Whatever challenges you are facing, may it encourage you. And I also pray that let God renew a steadfast love within your life as the children of God. Let us just bow our heads and pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for speaking to us through your word. Lord Almighty, I pray that you give us the spirit and the zeal to grow in you. 
Mighty God, renew our steadfast spirit, creating us a clean heart. Mighty God, be the leader, be the guider. As we are growing in you, Lord Almighty, help us, Lord, to reach deep like the trees that are planted along a river bank. Mighty God, be the river bank of our lives where we will drink. Be the fountains, Lord, where we will drink. Mighty God, we give you all the honor and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>